Hey guys, here we are in the third round of Mikey Garcia versus Juan Manuel Lopez. Um, in the first two rounds, you've kind of seen a lot of um, Lopez kind of trying different things because Mikey is kind of wrecking him. He's got his timing down. He's got a great sense of Lopez's rhythm. And he kind of knows everything that Lopez is going to do. Uh, and he knew it from so early in the fight that it looks like it's mostly from tape. Um, and we'll get into a little bit of that um, during the course of this round when it becomes a little more relevant as the adjustments in the fight start to take place again. Uh, and that's why it's so important, you know, when you do a film study, you're not just watching, like, specific techniques, you know, because they sometimes they're derived from what your opponent is showing you and giving you. Um, and it's kind of important to go, you know, round by round to figure out what everybody's doing. Um, anyway, we're going to get into it. Um, so the round comes out, you know, starts out basically the same. Uh, Lopez getting countered right there. Uh, Mikey's still got his rhythm. He's still timing him very well. Um, but he, I don't think he... He's not going to be able to hold that pace uh, this round. Uh, Lopez makes some great adjustments. and um, But right there, you can kind of see um, uh, Lopez, when he kind of goes to jab off of rocking back, he, he does this little thing with his glove, and he kind of telegraphs his fight or his punch. And he's, he's really giving away everything that he's going to do um, at the start of this round. He's taken t two jabs now, uh, and he kind of, he's kind of too relaxed, you know, and, and it's really starting to show through that Mikey knows, you know, what he's doing. Uh, right there. And this is great. This is a really good job. I'm not sure if Mikey did this on purpose or not, but you see this little pattern right here. Uh, he touches his glove, and then he starts walking off to the left, and uh, Lopez jumps in the air like an amateur, and Mikey counters him with the right hand. But that stems from that past exchange, too, um, where Mikey, Mikey is putting his glove out. We're going to go all the way back here. But, but Mikey, if you notice, see, he touches his glove, and then Mikey kind of raises his glove right there, uh, and then he catches his timing and counters him. But, um, again, touches his glove, and then uh, Lopez counters a little sooner while Mikey's walking off the line. Uh, but Mikey has really good reflexes and catches him with a great right hand. Um, I'm inclined to believe that he baited him into that. Uh, I haven't seen any other instances of it, but it was, just, it was a good job. That was a great shot. And... Uh, Lopez testing the waters for the jab, right? And look at how far off he throws this jab. Look how far away he is. You can see he doesn't even come close to landing it, so I don't know what Mikey's thinking throwing a counter jab off of it. Um, it just, that didn't make any sense to me. Uh, but Lopez, look at this though. Lopez knows that he's getting countered, so he's changing his guard now, and he's making an adjustment. He knows that Mikey knows everything that he's doing, so he's changing it up. And even though he's not, you know, I'll say half the athlete that Mikey Garcia seems to be, he doesn't have the balance that Garcia has, um, he's, he's working harder. He's doing more in the fight uh, in terms of, like, bo showing boxing knowledge um, and skill, not, like, sharpness and the physical attributes of it, but he's trying other things, and it pays off for him right there. He's kind of, and look how far back he is, after, especially after that jab that Mikey just threw. Mikey throws this jab, and Lopez's foot's all the way behind him, or his head is all the way on his back leg, and doesn't even come close to hitting, to hitting him, and he counters with this straight left, uh, showing another adjustment that he's making. Um, a lot of, like, the same stuff here. Mikey tries to get back, um, get back at Lopez, and I think he eats the jab right there. It doesn't matter, but... Um, again, right there. I don't think he lands that one, and Mikey's able to get his his guard in front of it. But look at how he uses both of his hands um, to 
to kind of block that that left hand from him. He does catch him with the um, with the um, the counter the counter jab right there, which is great. But Mikey should not be using both of his hands to control Lopez's straight left. Uh, if if Lopez had dipped there and fainted uh, with the left and then thrown a right hook, he could have caught Mikey and caught him with a big shot. Um, but, you know, that's part of Lopez's inability of a fighter as a fighter. Um, he's not using all of those great techniques. Mikey, again, tries to time him, but Lopez was actually not going to shoot a real jab. He was just going to feint him one. Um, catches him there. Still, like, wrecking his timing. But... Um, but Lopez is trying, again, another adjustment, right? Uh, he, he probably gets hit with that jab, but off of the jab, he's showing that he's trying to counter to the body, uh, and he does land that straight left. Uh, Lopez is doing a lot of good things in here. Here we go again. Uh, from the range on this jab, too, it's pretty, actually, it is pretty close to Mikey, but Mikey only needs to take that, you know, tiny step back. Um, and he's able to, I think he catches him with that, but then I think uh, that gets really close. He doesn't hit him, and then Mikey kind of controls his head. And that right there is like one of the most beautiful examples of head control that I've ever seen. Uh, if he didn't get his head right there, um, Mikey would have been in way more danger of getting hit with the straight left. But he, because he controls his head after, and that's not the, that's not necessarily the right way to do it, um, because it was kind of late. It was, it was really cutting it close on the timing, um, but it was, it was beautiful, and you just get to see perfectly how controlling his head stops him from taking offense. Uh, and it's not, you know, it's not cheating. It's a, it's a fine technique, um, but uh, it, it really shined right there for Mikey. Uh, but. If you notice there, Mikey's relying a lot on his athleticism uh, to get away from these punches. Even though you know he does control his head very well right there, the left hook, uh, he didn't have any control over, over Lopez when he threw the left hook. Um, and if Lopez was a better fighter, he would have been able to catch him uh, with that. Or if he just, instead of throwing a hook, he, he let go of the idea of landing a hook and just dipped in and threw a straight left to the body, he could have caught Mikey with something that he wasn't ready for. Um, so Mikey should look to control a little sooner. Um, but also, a dangerous thing that Mikey does, um, look at his footwork. When he throws this jab, he puts all his weight onto his left leg and he just kind of walks into that left hook. I don't think it lands, but Mikey kind of thrusts with his jab, and he's getting more and more comfortable doing that as the fight goes on. Uh, anyway, moving on. Uh, again, a, a body shot off the jab. He eats it, but Mikey, but he brings both of his hands out there. I'm not sure if he's feeling comfortable doing that because uh, Lopez is a southpaw, but he shouldn't be using both of his hands. And then he does make him eat another jab. Uh, I'm not sure if it lands, but he does block the left hand. So he's he's attempting to be res defensively responsible. And he's doing some good things in this round. Um, and here you go. Lopez getting complacent again. And he falls right back into his old rhythm and steps on that front leg without any head movement, without dipping back on his right leg, and just eats a right hand. Uh, great job from Mikey, uh, who's thrown maybe like you know, eight right hands throughout the whole fight. Um, he's really not letting it go very often, and that, that really speaks to um, his commitment to the game plan, not audibling and not fighting at all, um, but using his game plan to win the fight. Um, anyway, uh, another adjustment again, uh, when he dips all his weight on that foot, throws a right hand, uh, straight left to the body, and although Mikey has seen a couple of them, you know, he was able to block one of the counters, the jab counter one. Um, he's taking a lot of left hands. Um, oh, that was really good. The first time, now, normally when a left and a right-handed fighter, or yeah, a left and a right-handed fighter fight, um, most of the fight is spent 
searching for lead foot dominance. Um, and it's really important, but Mikey hasn't even looked for that at all. In fact, um, he's kind of gone the, the exact opposite approach. And one of the ways that he's been landing his jab so effectively is when he lunges in to throw it, he gives up lead foot dominance. And I'll show some more examples of that, but um, this is one thing that Lomachenko does really well when he, he dips to the outside. Uh, but Mikey Garcia in this instance is extremely ready for it. So when they do, if they ever have that clash, um, and obviously Lomachenko has a way better defense than uh, Lopez. But if we if we ever do get to see that fight, um, this is a good example of what Mikey Garcia is going to need to constantly be doing to keep him from getting that lead foot dominance. And he does a great job here the first time that Lopez ever even thinks about it. But anyway, um, a, another part of his game plan, something that he trains in the gym, and then as soon as it shows up in the fight, he does really well. Um, again, right here, um, off the jab, Lopez says, oh, don't give him a second to think, and lands a body shot. And that one does land. Um, but just showing you, like, Mikey is not adjusting to this, and he's been hit with this, like, three or four times now. Oh, again, Lopez realizes that... Uh, that he's trying to counter his jab still. He throws the jab. He might even eat that punch, but because, because Mikey steps in with his jab, he f walks right into that um, that left hook like, uh, like he did before. He barely got out of it, uh, and he's not able to get his hand on this one and eats that straight left hand. Um, really showing that, that he's, he's really hittable. Um, and that he he doesn't he's not asserting like the best kind of control over Lopez, um, uh, and there's no reason for him to be taking these shots. You know, he, Lopez has given this his game plan away so many times, uh, and he's still able to catch him with these shots. Um, but another good adjustment from Lopez, uh, figuring out how to land not only his hook but his left hand. Um, let me read my notes real quick. Oh yeah, but um, but yeah, look at if you notice, again he puts all his weight on his right leg. Uh, he can't even throw a right hand off of that if he wanted to, and that might also be one of the reasons why he's not throwing more right hands. And I think after this, yeah, he throws another jab and puts, again, puts all his weight on his front leg again, leaping forward. And he kind of sweeps his leg back. And that's really interesting uh, because it'll, it would allow him to get away from the left hand. But that is one of the flaws with Mikey Garcia's jab uh, is where all of his weight goes when he throws it. But um, anyway, moving on. Uh, Lopez using a different guard again, see dipping, rolling, not just walking in. Um, uh, he does get caught and he doesn't land that punch either, but um, he's showing more more dimensions. He's trying new things. I think he was, yeah, he throws a straight left. I'm not sure if it lands, even with the audio, you can't really tell and the clip isn't clear enough to be able to tell, but it doesn't matter. Um, he's showing that he's trying new things, even though some of these instances, Mikey is still um, controlling him. You know, he's able to, to beat his rhythm in. Again, right there, oh, right there. And um, you can see it right here. When he does a jab, his foot is on the inside of Lopez's foot right here. Uh, because in order to land his jab, he has to give up lead foot dominance. Um, and that's not really something that he's going to be able to do when he fights Lomachenko, um, because Lomachenko is so good at getting on the outside of the jab, whereas Lopez here, he can't even see the jab coming ever. Um, I don't know if it's his guard, he keeps his guard, you know, wrong, or he's just, you know, in that, in that vein of fighting, he's just a shot fighter, um, but he just hasn't been able to see it at all. And then Mikey, uh tricks him, makes him think he's going to go on the outside and catches him with another jab, uh, which is fine.
But this right here, this is really worrisome. So first, Lopez throws the jab. Let's go back, sorry. Uh, Lopez throws the jab, um, and he knows he's too far. Um, Mikey goes to counter him with the jab, and uh, Lopez rolls it, lands a great body shot right here. Um, and now Lopez is inside, and what is the first thing that Mikey does? Uh, he just crumples up. Look at the horrible position that he's put himself in by throwing that jab. Um, he puts all his weight on that front leg, right? And now he's he's stuck here. He cannot get away uh, because of the way um, that he also puts his foot on the inside of Lopez's leg when he throws his jab, remember? Now he's like kind of fighting to get his leg on the outside so he can escape. Um, and fortunately for him, when he puts himself in this horrible position, Lopez doesn't know what to do with it. You know, he hasn't seen himself in this position throughout the course of the fight, but he's making adjustments now that are making Lopez, or making Garcia, um, I might have mixed their names up, I apologize, but but Garcia's, um, Garcia's being put in positions that he hasn't game planned to be in yet. Um, and you're, you see, like, by the way he puts his head down, um, he almost turns his back to Lopez. If this was Lomachenko, he'd be spinning around him. Uh, he'd be able to control him and, and stop him from tying up. You know, Lopez does a decent job controlling his head, but he doesn't throw, like, a good punch off of it. He doesn't even land this punch off of control. But Mikey Garcia shows that he's not fighting very well in spots that he didn't train to be in. Um, and that's, again... Um, with all the adjustments that Lopez is making to the way that he holds his guard, the way that he walks forward, um, the head movement that he uses, the angles that he's trying to come in on, um, he's really putting Mikey Garcia in um, um, in some uncomfortable spots. He's landing his left hand uh, a lot of times when he wants to. Um, he's doing some things really well. He's just, again, right there, tries to try to bait him slips the jab, and does land that left to the body again. Um, but he's, he's, he's doing... Lomachenko would do a much better job of doing all these things to Mikey. Uh, but he's doing a decent job of making Garcia uncomfortable. Uh, I don't think he lands the hook. It's like grazing, you know. But again, fainting again. Um, he's being trying to be ready. And... And again, when Mikey gets ready to throw his jab, uh, it does kind of graze him. Uh, but he's able to get on the outside of it, which Lomachenko is, is uh, really good at doing. Um, but also, oh man, my video froze again. That's the third time this video. Um, but also when he steps forward with his punch, um, let's put it in slow-mo so I can do this a little easier. When he steps forward with his punch, and Lopez steps forward with his. Now Mikey, again, is on the inside, um, and he can't escape. You know, he kind of just dips down and gets into a really horrible position. Um, but luckily for him, again, Lopez doesn't know how to capitalize on it. He doesn't eat any punches. Um, but, uh, but Mikey Garcia is showing um, an inability to know how to fight um, when... When he's not, he's not in his complete game plan. Um, anyway, moving on. Again, Lopez showing um, really good adjustments, puts all his weight on his left leg, and Mikey doesn't even see it coming and just eats a left hand. Um, and then Lopez is able to roll the, the hook, uh, control his head real quick, um, and that's good, that's fine, whatever. Um, but Lopez is making like a lot of really great adjustments in this round, um, and he's he's out he's actually out fighting Mikey right now. Uh, he's gotten away from all the things that got him in trouble in rounds one and two, towards the second and third um, portion of this round, and he's landing the better shots. Um, Mikey Garcia's was that straight right hand that Lopez jumped into. Um, but Lopez has landed like, you know, six or seven straight left hands. And he's going to land another one right here. But let's get it in slow-mo. And again, 
Uh, he throws. Mikey uses both hands to parry it. Um, Lopez is able to duck this and close the distance. And now look at Mikey's, Mikey Garcia's defense right here. Uh, neither one of his hands are up. He's kind of almost turning his back to, uh, to Lopez. And Lopez lands a body shot. I assume he lands it. Um, Mikey lands a jab, but then he eats a, a straight, or a, not a straight, a left hook. A left hook from a left-handed fighter. Um, that's definitely not the game plan for him to be taking punches from someone who's such a big puncher. Um, and Lopez is showing that he's better at making adjustments than Mikey Garcia. Um, yet again, Mikey Garcia putting himself in a very poor position. Uh, so let's see what happens. Let me get back in. Uh, and now Lopez says, oh, even though he can't see the right hand coming, he never has. Uh, he's able to slip it right there and control Mikey's head a little bit. He kind of needed to take a step back right there and then pivot uh, so he could land some offense. But he definitely would have caught Mikey off balance. A uh, little spin around move or whatever from Mikey. I don't know what he's thinking, but... Again, uh, Lopez is able to land a shot to the body. Mikey does catch him with the left hook on his way up, but he shouldn't be eating these shots. And uh, dare I say that Lopez won that round. Um, does it matter if he won that round? Not really. Uh, I think he gets knocked out in the next one. But uh, I definitely think that he, ought, he outfought Mikey in this round. He made the better adjustments. Um, and Mikey kind of showed that he was pretty bewildered with everything that Lopez was doing. He didn't really have a game plan for it. Um, he put himself in really bad positions when he, he wasn't ready for Lopez to close the distance. Um, and it all stemmed off of Lopez having a much more active guard, using more head movement, um, fainting a little bit more, um, changing head slots, uh, everything that he was doing that stopped Mikey Garcia from painting him with his jab. And as you notice, uh, a lot of that round, um, Mikey Garcia wasn't landing nearly as many punches as he had in the first and the second round, uh, namely his jab. Um, uh, but anyway, um, yeah, I hope you guys liked the video. Um, uh, just remember, nothing that in the, that happens in this in this video is going to be indicative of necessarily indicative of how, how a Lomachenko fight's going to um, going to unfold. But um, because he's going to train for Lomachenko and not this seemingly one dimensional uh, Juan Juan Lopez. But um, anyway, um, I hope you guys like the video. I'll do the round four soon. Um, like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you want to see uh, on round four coming up. Thanks, guys.